Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see an application of change event concept we went through in our last video. We'll try to simulate a formula in our data grid. Let me explain you what I'm talking about. Here we have the data grid with three columns A, B and C. Column C value is actually the sum of values in column A and B. So what I want is if I make any changes to the cell value here, the sum or column C value should change or update itself accordingly. The existing value is 4 and imagine I make this as 10. So what I expect in column C is instead of 99 it should show 25. And you can see that we've got here 25. What we are trying to do is we are using the change event to first observe if there was a change made to the cell then what we are doing is we are taking the cell values from this particular row and we are adding it to get the value in the cell of the column C and that is how we are getting the updated value. We are also having a plot here which gets updated based on the column C values. Let's go to the code. In the UIR, we start with loading the required packages. Then we've got some headings here. In the fluid row, we've got two columns. In the first column, I am displaying the data grid. We also have an action button for save. We In the second column, we have got the plotly output where we are displaying the plot. Let's go to the server.r. In server.r, we start with creating our data frame with three columns A, B and C. And C is basically the sum of column A and B. This is the this is the initial data frame. Then we have defined a reactive values function here with the data frame which we have created. This is so that we keep a track of change in the state of our data frame. We've got uh, uh, different render functions where we are going to use this data frame. So anywhere we make uh, changes to the data uh, da uh, data frame, uh, those changes should reflect in the different render functions we are using. Scrolling down, we are displaying the data grid here using our hands-on table function. In the observe event, I am checking if there is a change made. Input dollar table dollar changes dollar changes. If you remember, this is a list and the first component of this list is the row indices, uh, sorry, row index. So I'm capturing the row index to know which row the change was made. And, and let me tell you, the row index goes with, starts with zero instead of one. So what we need to do is when we are doing the manipulation or using that uh, row index, we need to add a one to get it aligned with the data frame index, which always starts with one. So I'm capturing the row index here and I'm converting the the uh, uh, the input dollar table which is the our hands on table object to our object i'm saying hot to our input dollar table i'm converting the our hands on table object to our object or our data frame and assigning it to data values dollar data now i am doing the manipulation here i'm saying that go to that row where the change was made and the third column of that row, which is C. So the C value should be the same row, X, I plus one, but column one, 
add that to the same row but column 2 so we are adding the values of column a and column b to get the value of the column c and then here i have render plotly where i am using the plotly function and the data values dollar data which is the basically the reactive values um, so whatever changes we made manipulated in the previous um, yeah, observe event um, that state of data comes here and i'm using that to have my plotly histogram the plotly histogram is on column c then we've got a function to write the data to the local uh, working directory and we are using another observe event on the click of save button save the data